What's up guys, Matt the Maths Hero here again and I am here to solve all of your mathematical needs. Today we are looking at subtraction, including regrouping or borrowing, depending on where in the world you are from. Let's waste no time, let's start. Okay, one very important thing we must discuss before we begin, and that is the law of commutivity. A horrible word, but it's not as hard as it sounds, okay? It just means, can we put our numbers in different places in our number sentence? So, with addition and multiplication, those numbers and those operations are commutative. We can put them in any way. So, if I show you this, if we have 15 and 6, I get 21. If I have 6 and 15, I also get 21, but I've moved the two numbers at the beginning around, okay? Now, if we look at that in terms of subtraction, if I have 15 subtract 6, I get 9. But I can't get the same answer by moving my numbers around. They are not commutative. If I have 6 take away 15, 6 subtract 15, I get myself in all sorts of trouble we don't really want to talk about yet. But I know I don't get the same answer, okay? These numbers are not commutative. What does that mean? It means we've got to be ultra careful in the way we present our work and in our setup, okay? So let's have a look at a bigger number and what I'm talking about. So let's start at this. Let's have a look at a green chili challenge. Let's have a look at 149 subtract 26. So the question is saying, I've got 149 something. I could have vegetables, cars, money, whatever, 149 subtract 26. I'm subtracting 26 away from our original number 149. I can't manipulate that. I can't change the question. I can't say 26 subtract 149. That's not the same thing. So we need to be ultra careful in our layout. So first things first, let's arrange our columns. And you will know if you've seen any of my other videos, it's very important we put our units, our tens and our hundreds, our column titles at the top there to remind us to stay in our columns and be neat and organized. So hopefully we're pretty confident with our, our place value. If you're not, check out our place value videos, get all the information you need on that. But I know that I'm gonna put my units in my units column, my nine and my six and my units, I'm gonna put them in my units column. But which way around do I put them? Do I put my 149 on top? Do I put my 26 on top? What do I do? The best tip I can give you, write it as you read it. It says 149, take away 26. So I'm gonna write 149, subtract 26. Okay, I'm writing it as I read it. Some people might tell you, put the biggest number on top. I don't really like that piece of advice. There are questions which our answer needs to be negative. So we can't always put our bigger number on the top. We have to put our number on the top, which comes first. If it says 149 subtract 26, it means 149 subtract 26. So where are we gonna begin? Well, you should know now we are always starting with our smallest value. In this case, we have units as our smallest value. So I'm gonna start there. Nine subtract six gives me three. Put my three in my answer row. Move across to our tens column. Four subtract two gives me two. Two in my answer row. Move across, last time, look at my hundreds column, I've got 100, subtract, nothing there, or a zero, zero, 26. So one, subtract nothing, is one. My answer, 123. 149, subtract 26, 123. Okay, don't forget to always pull your answer up to your number sentence to complete your question. Boom, green chili challenge complete. Let's move on to red chili challenge. Red chili challenge, 123 subtract 15. Now you are thinking to yourself, I can read your mind, you are thinking, yo, that is just as easy as before. Well, let's check it out, okay? Let's put it back into our columns like we know how to now. 123, 123, subtract 15. I've written it out perfectly, draw my answer lines. Fantastic, okay, now let's begin. I'm gonna start at my smallest value, the units value. Three, subtract five. Boom! Stop there. What does that mean? I've got three, how am I possibly going to take away five? Imagine you have three pencils in your hand, 
you can't take away five. So what are you going to do? We need a method, we need a strategy. Okay, now, this is where your understanding of place value is really essential. We should know that if we look next door, we have our tens column. So if we look at our tens column, at this number, 123, I have two tens. So I can look at my two tens as two tens, or I can look at it as a 20. And now I'm wanting to borrow or regroup from that number, because my little weenie little three is not big enough to take my five away from. So I need to borrow something. I'm gonna borrow from my neighbor next door. So we're gonna go knocking. We're gonna look at what we've got next door. I've got two tens. So I don't need two tens, I don't need the 20. I'm only gonna borrow one 10, okay? One 10 being a value of 10. So I'm gonna borrow that, put it next to my three. 10 and three equals 13. So my new value in my units column is actually 13. Now what I must remember to do at this point is I must remember that I've taken away one of the tens from my tens column. So this is no longer a two, this is now a one. Okay, good, I'm ready to continue. 13, subtract five is eight. Beautiful. Move across to my tens column, two, subtract one. No, one, subtract one. Remember, we took that digit away. We used that uh, 10. So now I only have one 10 remaining, 10, Take away a 10, leaves me with no 10s. Good, moving over to my 100 column. One, subtract zero again, is one. Leaving me an answer of 108. Now let's remember, we always finish our number sentences, drag it up, 123, subtract 15, is 108. You've just done a red chili challenge. Okay, let's take this time, I'm gonna throw three questions on here. I'd like you to stop, pause the video, take some time to have a look at these, see if you get them right. If you get them right, great. If you don't, go back, rewind the video, and see where you might have made a small mistake. Okay, press pause. I'm gonna come back to you in five, four, three, two, one, boom. Okay, good, I'm back. So, throw the answers on the board, see how you got on. Hopefully you got them all right. If you did, great you have just mastered this lesson. If not, don't, don't sweat it, go back, check it out, see where you might have made a mistake, correct it, and have another go, okay? So let's just recap the important aspects of this lesson. Firstly, the layout is really important, not just to remember your column titles this time, but also the order you write your question. Remember, you write it as you read it, it's a good tip. Next, presentation, 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 presentation. Okay, maths is all about organizing and being neat and avoiding those small mistakes. So make sure you're writing nice and neat in those columns. Last but not least, we start at our smallest value and we borrow from our next column along, our bigger value next to us if we need to, okay? Guys, we have loads of videos on our channel all about maths. Check them out, like and subscribe for all of your maths needs. But for now, away, Matteo gone.